Hey, morning YouTube. Oh, Rumble. Good after morning. I'm running behind. I slept good. Beautiful morning out here. Clear sky. No, well, kind of clear sky. Oh, sorry. Oh. You have an upcoming visit with Dr. Ditchie on 112. No kidding. Time for my six month checkup. Not much going on today. I gotta find my my little vice. Julie's gonna stop over later after she's uh, done grocery shopping. And I'm gonna adjust her new bracelet for her. Oh, I don't have to look. I see it now. I'm right where I left it the last time I used it. Amazing. Got to get mom's car out of the garage. It's time for her weekly. Go to the beauty shop trip. Most likely, my son Nick will be down today so we can get Old Ugly up and running. Well, it runs. We just need to put the belt on it so I can steer. It can stay cool and charge the battery. We hear saws, they're doing a little remodel work over here across the street. And I got a propane tank getting ready to give up its life. That's okay, I got two more. Other than that, you know, had a good dinner last night. A lot of good conversation. Just looking at this mess. I'm thinking, how in the world am I going to get all this packed up again when it comes time to vacate? the premises. Uh, Julie's gonna make me dinner this weekend. Get to test out her cooking. I'm all for home cooking. Anyways, like I said, there ain't nothing much going on today. I just wanted to say, hey, life is good. Oh, we heard from young Mr. Bradley yesterday. Kind of ironic. I picked up Julie and we came back here so she could visit with mom a little bit. And we were just talking. Have we heard from young Mr. Bradley? No, we haven't. Well, how about my Uncle Bill? She goes, no, nope, he ain't heard. And doggone if the kid didn't call. 
He didn't say what he's planning on returning here. Which is okay with me. You miss him because he did, he would work if you asked him. He wouldn't volunteer, but he would ask. You would ask, he would, he would do it. Then he did it, you know, he had his little quirks with that irritated the crap out of you. Like laying on the couch all day playing PlayStation. And eating gummy bears. I hate changing that, these tanks. I don't hate it. I just dislike it very much. It's kind of ironic. Yesterday, as I was getting myself cleaned up to be in public, I get a text. No name, just a number. It says, hey, how you doing? So, since I have an inquiry mind, I said, who is this? Well, she goes, I go by Cynthia by name and you. Well, that's a little odd way to put it. So first I'm thinking, well, it's a bot. So, having that investigative kind of mind that I have, I, I Googled the number. And it came up for Jacksonville, Florida. And I say, hmm. Julie has a daughter that lives in Jacksonville, Florida. So I say, is this a test? So I say, I, I think you got the wrong number. I don't know you. And she replies, really? And she sends a picture. She's got to be about, well, she's under, under 30. I don't know. As a, nah, as a, you got the wrong person. Goodbye. And I showed Julie, and Julie says, nope, don't know who that is. Unless I didn't know, I hadn't. I haven't met her daughter in Florida yet. That's that's later in the year. I said, well, I thought maybe they might have been testing me, you know. Nope. So we blocked it and said, goodbye. The greatest invention in the world was a cell phone. The worst invention in the world is a cell phone. That's about it. I ain't got nothing else to talk about. So, this, what is the, what is, the current temperature in here is 51, but what is it out there? 37 this morning. Don't feel that bad. So We're going up to a high of 42 today. And let's move that email to junk. My 
that statement is available online. Get rid of that because I've already paid that one this, this month. Okay. See? Cell phone. Okay. Anyways, I hope y'all are well and I hope you're safe. Every day is a school day. If you're not learning, you are being left behind. Be kind. It's free. Get out and enjoy the world. Why we still can. Peace out. I'll see you soon.